Welcome to the tiebreaker game between the AAS Sofia and UHS team. Uh, the winner will get to the finals. The loser will play for the uh, third place. We're about to start the game. Both teams are ready. We've had a, a surprisingly um, smooth beginning of the game. All players were able to connect and we are ready to jump into the game. Hopefully the sound is good. Everything looks good. 20 minute game between those two powerful schools. Um, the live stream hasn't started. Now the live stream works. All right, the <clears throat> the game has started. What do I mean now? Okay, sorry. Okay, so. We are into the game. Uh, the winner will take it all. Uh, this is the final game. Uh, this is the final game between those two teams. We've had lots and lots of technical issues uh, last time, and I'm happy that the AAS Sofia is now taking down the Pillager Outpost. We can see uh, more and more teams. Act actually, the Pillager Outpost let the AAS Sofia won the previous game. Uh, so I think they, they, they thought, well, if we won last game with Pillager Outpost, then we might as well do it one more time. Uh, UHS, on the other hand, demonstrated good team play. We've seen players go mining. Uh, we still see um, a little mining team working their way on the right. They're probably mining for cobblestone to get some to get some uh, um, stone swords. Only two players are visible. Three players are visible in the UHS team. One player is missing. So it looks like two different two strategies have been used by teams. Um, two different strategies. As uh, Sophia decided to dedicate one player to the pillager outpost, and I talked to their team previously about that, and it looks like they've dedicated one player to do their homework and, and learn how to capture pillager outpost without dying, and it looks like the UHS is going to contest that, or no, I actually have uh, a miner going all the way down. This is probably where the this is probably where the diamonds are. So let's not follow them. Not let's not reveal that strategy. So we're about to see two strategies our clash we see the pillager outposts on the as as sophia but that's not the only strategy they're doing also have only i see i can only see one player on their side so there must have been uh, two other players we can see one of the player uh, went mining and this is one of the thing that the blue side the, the advantage of the blue um side has is that they have this mine right here that's why so many teams want to play blue side because they have the mine just next door and lf and y the um the bilingual french bilingual school from new york was the first school in the history of the league to actually uh find this um find this mine and actually mine it so the chest is there we can see a stone sword well this is a, this is not as um, lucrative loot as it could be. It's not a diamond sword. It's not an iron sword. It's lots of lots of iron. Uh, lots of sorry. Uh, and then we see that three players from the UHS are going to capture that. So they've been waiting for player 14 to get to the chest, and now they're really hard pressed. They will need to attack student 25. Student 25 takes damage. Uh, student 14 is now hard pressed. They do have ender pearls. They can escape, uh, though it does not occur to them that they can. Um, they can use Ender Pearls to get back to their base. The blue team sent no players, and the red team is now pressing hard. The Ender Pearl is in the hands, and the player 14 decides to escape, and, <laughs> and that's that's a good play. And I'm pretty sure uh, that, that it was too early for the live stream to reach that player, so there was a really good move by student 14. Uh, they were able to outmaneuver um, player 25, and now it's a fight between two players. Student 14 takes down student 1. Sorry, student 25 from the uh, from the UHS team, and now student 14 decides to advance. They got iron sword. They're gonna slash uh, and and die. Student 24 who's carrying the wooden sword, and now we have student eight from the AS Sophia as well. We now have two players from the blue team. You can see them on the left hand side. They're attacking the base, and now the red team needs to take some time to get down for the pillager outpost. And now the blue team decides to take advantage of that, and they do capture the flag though. Student 8 has a pickaxe, and there's no time for them to get out. Um, student 8 is carrying the flag, will follow them as they rotate back to their base. 
UH has those a really good move. They sent three players to counter that. And on the other hand, AS Sofia player was really quick to understand that it's a little bit too too much to fight three players and they just use one of the Ender Pearls. They still have quite a lot of them. Student 14 is must have been a low health, but they decide to engage. Nevertheless, Student 14 takes down. This is probably the third or fourth frag. Uh, this player has taken since the time they entered the base and the blue team scores the point well done for the as Sofia that's the first point for them well done um, it was I was interesting to see that when student 14 got to the base there was another player waiting there and they get a pickaxe as well to get out of the pit which is a problem for most of the players recently and uh, we've seen that it's, it's quite easy to get into the into the flag area but then once you capture the flag it becomes really really hard to get out five minutes on the 15 minutes on the clock five minutes have passed we've seen lots and lots of action happening so the highlight have been uh, the uh, pillager outpost was captured by uh, Sofia. The red team, UHS, tried to recapture that, but then the player used the Ender Pearl, got to the base, and then UHS got a little bit of uh, caught, got got caught off guard. They had three players stuck uh, in the pillager outpost, and in the meantime, as uh, Sofia had two players taking the flag and then securely getting the slack to their base. Now, the things are um, slowing down a little bit now. Uh, UHS still hasn't showed us the results of their mining. Uh, they reinforced their flag pretty, pro quite extensively, but they haven't mended the, um, they haven't mended the uh, opening here. And that's the horse that probably, I guess, was used by the uh, Sofia to get to the base so quickly. We learned from the FIS, the Frankfurt International School, who uh, developed the horse strategy, is that the horses, they have different, no, the horses have different um, abilities. Some of them can jump high, some of them can run fast. So I wonder which ability that horse had. UHS have been playing pretty defensively from the get-go. Uh, they haven't advanced much. A student 14 is now building up the what looks like a staircase leading all the way to the front tower. Uh, we can see one of the players over there crouching, so he's in invisibility mode. Unless he stands up, um, the red team cannot see them. We can see a chest of resources located over there for the UHS. And now I think the red team did not caught sight of the player uh, from the right hand side and now they're in the sneak mode and there's no so the red team has no knowledge of the player so the student 14 and student 7 they draw all the attention and you can see how the base has been set on fire and now student 23 caught side of the blue player leading from the right and now they're trying to attack though the fire did not Okay, the fire is going to spread, and this, I think that the plan for the Anglo-American School of Sophia is to destroy the wooden layer on the right to allow easy entrance to the base. In the meantime, student 14 tries to get into this window right here. We've never seen that before. We've seen student, and now he got spotted. He understands it's time to retreat. And then in the meantime, the pillager outpost has respawned, and now it's up for grabs one more time. Lots of things happening on the UHS base. Two players are down, student 14 and student 7. They, they both wearing iron and it's not a full armor, but it's still quite an in intimidating build. Student 7 uh, is capturing the flag. He's now contested with Student 4, but Student 4, Student 24 he doesn't deal enough damage. And now the base is on fire. Just to make sure it's a legitimate strategy, does not prevent players from spawning. It does cause the disturbance. It does cause the... Uh, inconvenience so to say to get from the roof all the way here if, if fire is not put out uh, in time the entire the wooden structure under the tower is is gonna evaporate which will inevitably create uh, discomfort for the players when they get down the player the players are ca catching fire and that's and that's that's the whole purpose of the fire strategies just to cause disturbance and uh, just generally disorient the team and uh, use this time to capture the flag. And this is exactly what the blue team is doing. I, I like the the, the uh, window of opportunity that they have. They, they capture the pillage outpost and they use the loot right away. And this is how the pillager outpost is meant to be working. Once you get this um, items, you need to use them right away, not to give the opposing team a chance to, to get back. 
Uh, student 14 is uh, where we're looking right now. The flag is going to be captured one more time. And we, he, we see student 7 is wearing full iron armor. And um, they just evaporate the blue team. And uh, once again, it took AS Sophia no more than 10 minutes to completely dominate the red base. Um, they, I, must, I must say that. I mean, they've, they've done a really good job. And, and you can see how powerful vindicators are student 22 from the uhs was just taking down immediately takes him out maybe two hits really if you're on full health so it must take some practice to to get the pillager outpost without without dying uh, and the the as sophia once more establishes their base uh, we can see iron boots actually land around um on the ground here uh, we can see the uh flint and stone i think this is called uh, item that is used to, to set up fire. I can see quite a lot of materials here and I wonder, okay, finally they got captured. The score is three to zero and I like going by the, oh, we can see a diamond sword was dropped on the ground and this is probably a result of the mining of the S Sophia. So one of the players must have gone mining. We've seen one of the players from the beginning of the match in the mine. So this is where they went mining. Uh, and now it's 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 um, it's really hard for the UHS team to get back. They also have a diamond sword, though. I can see student 26 is carrying the diamond sword, and this could be a good chance for them to get some of the players down. The diamond sword is versus the, the iron, and the diamond sword is lying somewhere here. It's lying right there in the window. It's going to lie there un, un, until the time it's captured, but it's still there. Uh, student... Student seven did not see where it went, but it's 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 there. It's still there. Um, so hopefully someone will get the the diamond sword sooner or later because this is quite unprecedented that a diamond sword is just lying on the ground. And it looks like even red team. Uh, I think it got spotted. No. Yeah. All right. I'm happy that red team at least got their diamond sword back but you've seen how powerful the iron armor is the diamond sword does deal a lot of damage but once you have the iron chest plate and iron leggings i mean it's it's not a big deal really the blue team decides to capture the flag one more time i mean why not the uh, they have the opening here <clears throat> So it's 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 quite easy. You have you have two way out ways out. You have one way out here. You have another way out here. Um, and the blue team they they've positioned two players right here just to meet the player. Uh, their defense actually the blue team's base hasn't been attacked once in this match. We've seen all the action happening on the UHS side, and this is again proves the strategy that in capture the flag, the. Um, the offensive play pays off more than defensive play. We've seen it times and again that the play players and teams that play hyper aggressively, they know what they're doing, they plan ahead, they move they move together, they tend to win games. And now it's five to zero uh, in favor of uh, Sofia and red team decides to uh, regroup together. Uh, they, they do have some time before the uh, Sofia uh, uh, the red team decides to attack one more time and the red, the blue team decides not to let up. They just want to keep the consistent pressure. They're using the ladder or the, uh, the staircase that they've used. And this is just a, like uh, a straight way from here into the tower and then onto the bridge. And then from here, you simply jump onto the flag and escape. So it's a really quick route. Once you have this established and the whole base is up for grabs, you have uh, exit from the right, you have exit to the left, and it's just um, really hard for the red team to to get back. And and this is and this is how the I guess the semifinal should look like. We should we should see good coordination. We could see wonderful strategies. We can see skillful players, masterful executions. And this is exactly what happened on the S Sophia side. Uh, it looks like they have three parties. They have one party that went straight to, for the red flag. They have one party who went to the pillager outpost. And at the same time, they had one minor who went mining for diamonds. So it looks like the bet on three strategies and surprisingly all of them work. I guess what they were thinking about is, okay, let's let's do this and one of those will work out. We, we, will, we will either capture the pillager outpost and the pillager outpost was captured one more time by student 14. Uh, and now the, um, the, the ender pearl is used one more time. Uh, they must have gotten another um, 
diamond sword or let's actually let's see what's there i think we should be if we follow student 14 um we should be able to see oh look at that they have a, a whole stockpile of yeah they have iron boots they have iron sword um and that's that's pretty much it they have flint they have iron yeah the blue team looks really good and i like how they and look at that we have a mounted uh fighter now student four is carrying uh diamond uh, so they decided to just regroup a little bit, maybe uh, reinforce themselves to the uh, UHS team. Uh, they're trying to find a footing, really. And it's, um, yeah, we can see student 24 decides to craft some, I don't know, wooden sword. A student 7 is now carrying, uh, this is actually, um, I thought it was a UHS player, but it's not. Um, I mean, it's hard to beat. Uh, see, I, would, I wouldn't even engage in this fight, really. Student, student 7 decides to retreat, and that's probably a good call, because you, you don't want to die. And there's no... The student, student 7 from the AS, Sophia, doesn't have any, any teammates. So if you, if you die, you basically just give out your, your stuff. And that's a good, good call to retreat and go back. And... Okay. So, um, it looks like... The um, I just heard that the UH has decided to forfeit, and it looks like it's gonna we're gonna end prematurely. Um, let me just do the timer. One second. Yeah, very powerful play. I mean, it's 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 really I don't I don't know how you can how you can counter that. Um, so let me just quickly look at something and then... Um, let's change my settings to creative. Okay, 24,000, 24,000 it is. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just trying to end the, the match prematurely and I need to put a command tag, I forgot what the tag is, tag round timer. Is it capital? Yeah, round timer and then timer 24, I think. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. All right, wonderful. So we were able to, f to finish the game before, and this is a really, really, really powerful play uh, demonstrated by uh, Sophia. They got 10 points, and this is GG. And congratulations to the uh, blue team. They've made it to the finals where they'll be facing another powerful team, the Frankfurt International School. This is going to be the finals. Uh, Frankfurt International School is going to face off Anglo American School of Sofia, and the Nova International School will face off UHS in the game for the uh, in the match for the third place. All right, uh, thanks all. We're going to finish now. Um, that was a quick, really quick match compared to yesterday. Uh, we're going to end the live stream now, and uh, stay tuned for the finals. I'm looking forward to the finals. Well played, uh, yes. Good job, Herzle as well. But there's only one winner in this game. We're gonna end. We're gonna end the live stream now, and we'll see you in finals. Bye bye for now.